And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round one with the hills for our zero stop super casual. It's your boy Red. I'm back from the dead. You were dead? I, I think I was. <laughs> I think that was the rumor. That was the rumor that you died? Red died? I don't think Red can die. But anyways, my name is Darren. You guys don't know me yet. <laughs> and I just wanted to point out that Mega Man Legends, or Yadi, said that King of Cali needs to achieve these race. Racing Speedways to become the King of Cali. I'm gonna give you something, I'm gonna give you a little something right now. No. You conquer Wongai, you're the king. I, that's what we're doing here. I think you need to get out. Just need to leave. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Uh, hope you guys are doing. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, we're here in Point Hills Mall, having one of our one of our greatest events yet again. But this time it's a little twist because we're gonna have a mini tournament. The second half of Zero Stop. Can you tell me about the mini tournament that we're having today, Brad? Well, the mini tournament is for our tournament that's coming up in July. And if you, if you win the mini tournament, oh, spoilers, guys! You get a free spot in the tournament. You get a free spot in the tournament if I win the mini tournament today? Yes, that's right. Here at Pointed Hills Mall? Yes, I really won! Oh my gosh, when does it start? I want to say it's going to start in about maybe an hour or two. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, so the mini tournament today uh, is going to be a 2v2. $4 entry per team. Not per person, per, per team. So it's 2 bucks per person if you uh, do the math. Quick math, you know. And instead of double elimination today, we're doing single elimination because, you know, time. So, you know, sucks to suck. Wow, that's me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you can't. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> if you're last, you're not first. Exactly. <laughs> you couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, honestly. Like... I uh, recently, yesterday, we, I went to a tournament with you, Red. Yes, this, this is correct. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> and uh, what was it? The tournament yes yesterday was at Burbank. Uh, it, was, it was at a place called All Amusement. Fun Center. Don't forget the Fun, fun Center. Center. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fun Center. Anyway, so, <laughs> so they had a, a small tur tournament. Uh, I say small because there was only like maybe eight, ten teams. So it's kind of... You know, still kind of growing, but still, they were still able to host such, you know, a large amount of people, large sum. Well, the, the fact that, like, um, if I'm not mistaken, it was kind of last notice, right? It was, like, only a week or two. Like, I found out about two weeks ago. So, to me, the, the fact that it was so last notice and about 10 teams showed up was actually really good. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, with, with a week notice, people were just coming out, which is great because, you know, like, we want our community to continuously support not only our tournaments and events, but we, we want to see other people try to host such things so they, you know, try to cater, cater, ugh, cater to our community as well. It's all about the community. I mean, what we really love to see is people get zero stopped. And I mean, that's kind of why we have our name. True, true, true. Uh, so our next tournament is actually going to be in July 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> Our next server is supposed to be in Ju July 22nd. Uh, it's going to be on a Sunday as well. We were trying to aim for Saturday, but unfortunately, due to some uh, circumstances of... Is that, is that the right word? To use? Yeah, we were unable to go on Earth to have our event on a Saturday. So July 22nd, Sunday, be there, be square. You know, If you're here, weird. we'll make it a Saturday. Like, in our hearts. In our hearts. In our hearts, you know? Right here. It will feel like a Saturday. Yeah. It will be around, uh... I, I believe we're starting earlier. We're starting at 12, I believe, or 1. We don't have uh, the official time yet, but it's going to be around that time frame where it's 12 or 1. You can sign up, actually, um... I believe it's, it's online right now, correct? No. Not yet? Sign-ups are going to be posted, li uh, posted live today after the event, so... The only reason why we're doing that is so people, uh, people that win the mini tournament today are for sure guaranteed that spot. So you know, there's only one only... spot, correct, for the mini tournament. Like... One spot, you only get one spot. If so... the first place winner aren't able to 
attend the tournament in July 22nd or July, then it goes to the second place winner, and then so on and so forth if they can't do it. So that that pretty much covers the tournament next month. It's still gonna be a two for the next month tournament. It's still gonna be a two v two double elim. It's gonna be an eighty man bracket. Cause we're doing eighty man. Uh, eighty man yeah. Okay. So yeah. now the the one thing that I saw about yesterday's tournament, and maybe this was just because they didn't actually like think ahead of this, but I saw some people switching cars. And for ours, obviously registered cars. So only once you pick that car, it's the car that you're gonna race for the whole tournament, right? Yeah. So for our tournament, you register your car, your car name. Though, like the thing about the thing about you know Max Two Five, they introduce like the trophy and stuff like that, and you're able to customize your car and put different different decals, rims, whatever you want to call it. It's basically appearance changes to your car. That is not you know we we have no control over that. Know, but you have to keep that same car with the same registered uh, tag name. So, the only reason why that we do that is because like it, it's it's more official that way. Because like uh, we're not trying to do like the whole like oh let's eliminate no R thirty two or R R seven. You know, like we're not doing any of that. So we can choose multiple cards. We stick to one card. So we all it's an, in a way for us easier to see who that is. And it, it, and it also goes to the official ranking that we are creating too. Stay tuned for that, guys. Oh yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, that cool. but yeah. So the event will be posted up today at the end of uh, at, at the end of today. The link will be uh, the link for the center will be on that page as well. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you guys aren't following us on Facebook or Twitter or Twitch, you know, uh, please do so now. Uh, that will give you an edge or an advantage to seeing those, see what we posted. Because the moment it posts, usually people start signing up already, and you want to be, you know, one of those people to be uh, I mean, signed up. I mean, not, not to brag or anything, but I think last time it was only a weekend we had a full sign-up team, right? Yeah, we we had 60 man, uh, a 60 man team uh, already. Completely capped out. So we we bumped it up to 18 teams. So that means we only are taking two more teams from last tournament. And the thing is, I'm, we're looking at more people coming into this tournament too. So like honestly, follow us on Facebook. You can find us on RGC Hub. Uh, that's our also our Twitter name as well, as, as well as our Twitch name as well. Too, right? It's everything. It's everything. Okay, cool. <laughs> I made sure that every everything was the same. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but yeah, so keep keep yourself informed. Follow us. That will help us. That will help you. Uh, registration fee for next tournament is. I, I actually don't remember. I think. I'm we'll, not, we'll, we'll get back to you. Yeah, at like end of the day. all of the official stuff is going to be on our event page. So if if you guys have any like other questions. Feel free to ask. Feel free to ask in the chat. I'll try to answer them. But if anything, go ahead and uh, direct message. Even our Twitch page, uh, you can direct message me there. Uh, or my uh, Red, or if you, if you know Red. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but the real question that's on my mind right now, dude. Jared, what is your real name? Jared. It's my real name. <laughs> Fuck, you <idiots. laughs> I don't. I don't use a tag name. <laughs> What are you trying to say? It's a tag name, right? What are you trying to say? Is that what it's called, tag name? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say anything. I'm just saying I don't use a tag name. That's it. I'd rather just be called Darren. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people in the community or just like gaming community, they try to go, they they go with other. Uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Did you see the chosen one, the small child? He just won first place. You know, I actually I actually met him. His name is Isaiah. You mean chosen one? The chosen one, yes. Uh, he actually name? he actually wanted to meet me, so he came up to me and he was like, "Hi, my name is Isaiah," and I'm just like, "Oh, <laughs> I'm there. <dead. laughs> I'm glad that you could make it out today." Blah blah blah. I'll be ready for you. Blah blah blah. <laughs> there you go. We're in first place right now. <laughs> Look at him. Look how he glistens in the sun. Chosen one and his father is actually participating in the mini tournament today. Do you think they can take it? Yeah. Hey, I didn't think I could take it yesterday. I came from losers bracket, reset of the bracket, boom. I mean, get, 
given that we were all just messing around at the last, like, you know, <laughs> the last game. Like... No, strats. Strats. <laughs> I, I understood. But, I, I, yeah. Anyways, tournament, follow us. That'd be great. DM us if you have any following questions. And, yeah, let's get back to our event. Yeah, our zero stuff. Zero stuff, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Alright. So. Uh. I was actually gonna talk about something we're supposed to, that we're supposed to start soon. We're supposed to start our Patreon soon and a Teespring soon. And uh, honestly, we would love to see our community support our campaign. You know, like, we're doing all, a lot of these things for you guys. Like, we're offering not only, like, shoutouts and credits and stuff like that, but uh, for our Patreon, we're actually we're actually offering some type of coaching. This is my first time actually mentioning it because, uh, you know, when we think about the game, it's just like, how can you coach this game, honestly? Well, and For the Tier 2 Patreon, I will personally coach people in Persona 5. Because, <laughs> like, Wangan 5, it has 5 in it. <laughs> They're not the same, Brad. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, my love for both is pretty hardcore. But hey, <laughs> so for our Patreon, we're actually uh, that we're starting. There's gonna be four tiers. Obviously, they're gonna increase from starting from tier one to tier four. There's gonna be increasing amount of uh, you know subscription fee. Yeah. But from tier one to tier three, there's gonna be like credits, shoutouts. They're also gonna be like. Uh, I believe we're also going to be giving stuff out if you subscribe. So every month we're going to have like something a little different. Maybe sm like a small token or so. Or so. Like a sticker. Yeah, like something like that, yeah. Placement card. Yeah, so so you guys can keep up with that. And then uh, we're also starting a thing called Teesprings, which is basically uh, a campaign where we create a t-shirt and people will donate to this campaign and if we hit set about then we get uh, Teespring does everything for free so they create the t-shirt they, they do the graphics and everything and they ship it out to us and then that's when we start giving it out I mean if you guys also have ideas that you want to throw our way so we can maybe see if we can make it a t-shirt that'd be, that'd be awesome too we, we have a couple ideas but you know the more ideas you get for the community the more people will actually want to Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, um, right now we're looking into. I mean, one of the one of the things that is gonna be for sure on that T-shirt is zero stop super casual. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like that. That's just. I think that's just a given. But like, we we do want to uh we we do want to create a T-shirt for everybody that will love. You know that they would like to wear, not only like just like to our events, but like because you know some T-shirts are very tacky and something like that you don't want to wear it in the public. It's just like oh, what's that? But. Yeah. Like, you know, we want to make it to the point where you would enjoy it to actually have and actually wear it in the public. But like, hey, I go to this, but it's also like, it's a really cool representation of what you do on the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a graphic to show that you support us, not only because you support us, but because it looks cool too. But yeah, so those are the two things that we're going to be doing. Um, on, we we on a look out for those two. Uh, those two things as well, like, there's a lot of things that we're actually working on for you guys, like, it's, not, it's kinda crazy, it's gonna get hectic the next month, because we have a tournament coming up, and, uh, we also have a lot of graphic designs to do for you guys, so definitely, definitely be looking out for that. We are also, like Red said, we're also looking for people that would like to submit, like, graphic designs, so, you know, we're always looking for that. I'm just saying, like, as, as far as everything's gonna go, it, it's really gonna be... It's gonna be a sight to see for the next month that it's gonna turn out. Besides the zero stop and everything, it's, it's just gonna be... It's gonna be good time. Yeah, it's gonna be it. Uh, but anyways, guys. Um, Someone needs to complain around one or bad idea to fix those one. Honestly, like I'm gonna tell you right now, as much as we can maintain these machines, 
really up to us to actually, you know, keep these machines in order. If we don't do that, then... If we don't... Yeah, if we don't do that, then, you know, if we're only giving Grab 1 or even Bad Night Devil such a hard time. Because, like, you know, if people slam on on these gear shifters or slamming on the pedals or slamming the steering wheel, obviously it's going to give out at some point. It's like, we can only make it happen so long and then you're going to have to buy a new car and that's it. The one thing I've actually seen that's pretty crazy is some round ones are like some places that have one gun in general. They take the the shifter knobs. Exactly. They're like, what are you going to do with the shifter knob? What are you gonna, where, where are you going to put it? In your car? Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. But like, at the same time, like, you're already gonna have a ship to knob in your car. But and now, I, now I play on the walk on. <laughs> like, but you can also get these shifter knobs anywhere else. Like, you think about it, these shifter knobs have been held by multiple, countless people. And, you know, think about the jerk. Think about the hygiene. That's gross. Some of them don't wash their hands. Like, you, you, like, you can get Lysol or bleach it, but, like, that's only gonna kill some of the bacteria. Like, so what you do is you get a bottle of Coke. Put it in there for a night, and it becomes super shiny like a penny. <laughs> and that's the, that's the workaround. And what is this? This is like some, um, it's like dot hack uh, level uh, of decryption. Decryption. I don't even know what that says. <laughs> but yeah, like even, same thing with seats. Like a lot of people, a lot of people tend to. I don't know how you guys break the seats. The only thing you're doing on a seat is sitting there. How do you break that? Some of them are like slamming and forgetting they're in the groove. Like I've seen them. Um, again, this is like some lock dot hack level. Uh... Am I the chosen one? Dream Master Rudy is trying to decrypt the code. Do, do I don't think he's doing such a vote. Do I have to go into the Matrix or do I have to go into the Wonga? Maybe both. Maybe, maybe you gotta... Maybe you gotta enter the Wongon. Into the Matrix. Ah, uh, oh, oh. Uh, well, that's a really bad decryption, though. That's bad. I don't like it. Rudy says that might be a doge, but... He, he, I think he's right. It's just that there's so many, like... I so can kinda see it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this, this is the nose right here. <laughs> the eye, little eye. <laughs> If you look just right at the angle, it's in the sun to the north <laughs> circumference of the world. Alright, let's not talk about the seat weight limit. Like, there's no seat weight limit in this, okay? No way. They, the seats are catered to everybody. <laughs> everybody. E-V-E-R-Y. Are you sure? Body. <laughs> are you sure? Booty. <laughs> booty? Americans are thick. I'm sorry, my booty is pretty thick. There, there, there's gotta... a difference between thick and obese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did I go that far? Maybe. <laughs> we, we thick and jack from Jack in the Crack? <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are funny. <laughs> this is this is uh this is what I get up for every Sunday when I do this talk to you guys. Talk to you guys, cry a little bit, you know. <laughs> oh look, it's 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 my buddy Lulu. Lulu, he's the Dot guy. Hack. It's, he's the one. Is, is he the one hacking? <laughs> is he going into the Wongon? Something went wrong. I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for my buddy uh, operator to come back so he can help me with my social media aspect stuff. <laughs> If you guys don't, uh, if you guys don't know, we're actually trying to get in contact with Bandai Namco. So if you guys can, please give them a shout out. Because honestly, we need their help. Because without their help, then we can't maintain these machines for you guys. <laughs> Saying, like, you know, like honestly, we won't. We want to get Max Tune Six. Like in, in a perfect world. In a perfect world, yes. Like, I mean, we're still stuck here in Max Tune Five world. Where everybody else in the world has been like, oh, we got DX and DX Plus already, where we got the Lamborghinis and NSX, and we're just like here, yeah, we got five barely. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, but, you know, I think if we were to get an international ring, and I'm not, I'm not saying shots fired or anything, but I think we would shake the hand of the president. Ooh, of the don't even! Oh my gosh, I, I hope you guys are not, <laughs> I hope they're not listening, but, hey, I mean, like, you know, 
in this kind of community, you know, sportsmanship is... It's... What, I don't know the word, but basically we we support sportsmanship. Like we only I don't know the word. Like how do I word this? It's sportsmanship. Like you like it's it's just the fact that like we're not. It's, it's a common courtesy thing, you know. Like okay, you lost, you won. Okay, like like hey, don't get me wrong. I, I love a good pop up just as much as the next person. Uh -huh. But like there's a difference between you know being good at the game and then being like oh hi, I'm just. I play this game, and yeah, peace out. Okay, so let, let, let's answer a few questions here on the chat. So he's, uh, Cal Nento says, who's the best player in SoCal? Or player or team in SoCal? I got this. Team Diablo. <laughs> As of right now, there is no ranking system, so we can't, I can't even answer that question for you. We do have like extreme huge, extremely huge teams such as Team Exploit out there, who are such a, a huge team that I can't even, you know, give you a head count. But there's two of but, them playing on the stream right now. Yeah, there's two of them playing on. Yeah. But so I can't even tell you. But we have these tournaments coming up, so that probably give you, a, you know, who who can be the best in SoCal. But the thing about SoCal or the SoCal tournaments, we have people from NorCal coming in too. So that doesn't really like define the best team or person in SoCal, you know? Team Diablo. Okay. With, with, <laughs> with the best player, their mask of Zoro. I didn't hear anything about the licensing issue, so I, I'm not really I'm not really sure. It might be it might be like the whole car manufacturers and stuff like that, so that might be the issue as well. Uh, sportsmanship, okay. I get it with the whole paint swapping thing, but remember, we're playing an entirely different game. Uh, like, sorry, not entirely different game, but like, we play the game differently here. Like, we play to whoever gets it first wins, okay? But in, in the means of getting first, you can do whatever you want, okay? So if, you, if you're if you gonna wreck people into a wall or shove your car in a 360 or something like, like that. Like that. Yeah, like, or throw cars to get yourself at first, then do it. You know, that's, these are functionalities, some functionalities in the game. Sure, maybe Bandai Namco or whoever created this game didn't really have any, any intention to creating something like that. But people exploit this stuff. Exploit, team exploit, hello. <laughs> no shout out, I'm not trying to give them a shout out, I'm just saying. <laughs> but people shove traffic, shove people into walls, zero stop your opponents, even slow down their opponents to get their team into first place. These are means to get your team into first place. And I'm not saying sports in the, in the way of how they race, I'm saying about, about the way they, they present themselves as players. Exactly. You know, like, playing the game is different. But holding up yourself as a player in the community and actually being humble, being, you know, being helpful to the community, then that's sports you know? Yeah, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if you guys saw, but, like, he, he didn't shake his head. Yeah, like, sure, I only saw maybe, like, one or two clips of World Championship, and I don't even know where it was. Like, I saw that one clip where, Lin, 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 I forgot his name, but basically he got he got up there, took the trophy, stand up, stand in front of the crowd, did nothing, just held his trophy. The president, or, I forgot his name, I'm terrible. The guy that was he racist, Basically, yeah, basically held out his hand right in front of him, and he just, Blatantly annoyed him. How is that not sportsmanship? Like, you gotta. He's. Like, wanting to shake his hat. At least shake his hat, you know? Like, he's the one running the freaking event, you know? He's the one giving you a stage to brag about your win. Shake his hat. I mean, that's that's what I mean about sportsmanship. Like, like. I've seen people murder each other in this game and still be like, yo, that was a good race. Exactly. Because, you know, it's like. It's still a skill to block. Like, l given that you could just 360 or 180 your car and block, but it takes some sort of skill or, to keep or, that in first place, okay? Yeah, you're really sneaky and you're on Hokone. Some, some. But that still takes skill. Yeah, yeah. Max, max tune three level tactics. Like in our, in our was the first tournament that we ran? Which one? And, and for. For this one, for Max Five. Yeah, yeah. When um, 
when he oh, was yeah, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, uh, yeah, they're here today. Yeah. <laughs> the brothers. The brothers freaking. <laughs> oh my god, I took the one because of that. Jeez, I can't believe that. that. That was amazing. Literally, one stood way in the back, and everyone thought, like, it, for sure the other team was going to win. Like, it was just hands down, they were ahead. And then. <laughs> He, he T-bones the wall. The other the other team hits both. They both hit him, and his brother takes the win. That was amazing. But yeah, so yeah, so blocking and ramming are some fundamentals in the game. But remember, those are our, those are some basic stuff. Your some other basic stuff are just like your TA lines and getting the fastest line. But you have to also remember: are those lines going to benefit you? And that. That right there comes with with practice, you know, like sometimes routine lines aren't going to help you because in TA, there's no traffic. And sometimes traffic gets in your lines. So what do you do then? And then, you, like, there's a lot more things to think about, you know, like you think about adaptability, endurance, and all that stuff. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot of things going on, going on in these games. Because, you know, there's only so much you can do with TA lines. There's only so much you can do with blocking. Put them together, then you have something, you got something called basics. Well, not only that, but the bringing them back to the TA lines. Like, say, like, if you get zero stop here. I've seen people come back from that. And oh, that, yeah, 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 exactly. That's, but that's in a 2v2 set, But in a 2v2 setting, that, like, if, you're up, uh, if your teammate can do something like that and handle the, the other two and slow that down to, for you to catch up from that zero stop, yep. see, there's a lot more There's a lot more things going on in 2v2 settings. Like, 1v1, you're on your, like, or free for all, you're on your own. You get zero stop, you're, you're basically done. And that's like they get zero stuff. But, you know, like, it, it's all. I really love what it comes down to, I think, for our scene here is it's, it's all about teamwork. Because I, I've seen some people come back from being zero stop and have a massive lead afterwards. I've also yeah, seen right. teams that, like, have gotten zero stop because they don't. Their team just doesn't mesh well or they, they don't know each other's style just yet. Like, they. they it's hardcore loose. So Japan scene is pretty amazing. I've heard that they're pretty active out there. They're, oh. they're, they're, they're really oh, active. They right? are. Like yeah, I, so they're, they're they're really active out there. I, I understand that. And oh. honestly, that's our aim. You know, like as much as much as it sucks to not be a part of that international loop. You know, that's what we want. We want to be a part of that. We want to go worldwide with this kind of game. You know, they already have a world championship. But how can you call it a world championship if we're, if we're part of it? Like the thing, about, the thing about Japan is like they also. Want like the, the thing is like if if you're doing this strictly TA lines, then yeah, they're doing strictly TA lines. But as someone the that pretty, is, yeah. yeah, as someone that actually been in Japan and like went out there to play volleyball guns specifically, like I was like, okay, like I think I'm pretty decent. Yeah. I, I know what I'm doing. And then I started like playing. I accidentally zero stuff the guy. Uh -huh. I, I, I got like my ass handed to me after <laughs> Whoa, you zero stuff me? All right, let me show you how the real zero stop looks like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh no, what have I done? Pick walk on esports, definitely what we're trying to do. Like that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, like, like Japan. Honestly, we're not trying to take it to Japan. We're trying to take it here. Like we want to be noticed here. Like we, we, like I hope you guys understand that in the international world, we're not part of it. Like we're excluded from that loop. And we want Japan or just that, like Ben and Apple to just be, to have us a part of that little water. Dude, this guy sounds so good for you know what he's doing. Why did they do that? <laughs> Gosh. Red's having a little difficulty. I don't know what's going on here. But, but yeah, so honestly, that's the goal here. Like, we can't do, we can't get noticed without you guys. Like we can, pr we can provide these things, these events for you guys to basically play on a stage, get you guys live, get you guys out there and whatnot. But you know, at the end of the day, it's also up to you guys to come out and support us, and then we're also supporting you guys. Together, we can get noticed. Yeah, when it comes down to it, like it's things like this, like we're getting more and more exposure. Of course, and, and, yeah. And, and because of our community, we, we are also like drum more. So like the more people in this like interact with this, 
yeah, obviously it's gonna get bigger. And like, our goal is to bring it here, but I mean, if we can take it to Japan, have one gun tournament in Japan. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, don't get me wrong. Like, I felt, I felt the production for the World Championship was okay. Yeah. But in my eyes, like, sure. With the stuff right now, with the equipment that we have right now, it's shit. But like. I feel it's have better in the production value we, we can provide it to me a lot. I think we could even top the production value that they had at World Champion. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying what they had at World Champion was pretty, was, was completely crap. I'm just saying it could have been a lot better. Yeah. Now, like the, the one thing, the, I mean, I didn't see the World Championship. I don't know where it was located, but the, the one tournament that I did actually see. Um, was, was pretty cool, but the one thing that I actually like about Japan is like uh -oh, Soccer round one is intense I would love to host something in the, that round one just there is literally eight cabs Just all in line. I'm pretty sure there's eight on the other side, too mm -hmm. Like it's just it, it would be nice like if we do something like that honestly, it would be I think it would be such an honor for like, okay, this this is kind of like the dream, I want to say. Like, something a little, something, kind of a goal, basically. Yeah. To actually have Bandai Namco fly us out there, have a little, little small tournament. Like, not internationally, but just have, like, just have ja uh, Japan Japanese players. Yeah. Like, and we'll just be there, like, translating it for you guys. Like, we'll just be, like, they'll have, like, their own Jap uh, Japanese Twitch, Twitch, like, stream. And then we'll have our English uh, stream as well. Like, that'd be awesome, you know? Because then at that point, now we're connecting not only with, with you, you know, the international players, but you know, we, we the get learning, some that, yeah, yeah we, we get to see how the community works out. Like, it's just right. crazy how many locations they have in like such a small area. Call him, call him, call him. Lewis! We're gonna be doing a 2v2. If you guys don't know, uh, Panda and Lulu on the first two cabinets right there, as you can see, uh, they're Team Swifty. People that have won the tournament, placed in finals, uh, both, 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 both tournaments that we posted, and uh, both, and the tournament yesterday too. I faced, I faced them too. She was so scared. So <laughs> they beat you, then you beat them. Yeah. Then they reset the bracket, and then you beat them again. Yep. But anyway, so we're gonna have a two v two play right now. Uh, let's, yeah, let's let's do it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna go. But uh, the other two, the other team is actually another finalist from. Oh no, they're the second place runner up. It's the brothers. Last, it's the brothers that did the zero stop on our first tournament. <laughs> So we're gonna have a really, really good match right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is gonna be that pre-game into our tournament or mini tournament today. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting time. <laughs> oh, oh, strats! They just switch seats. Kill <laughs> <laughs> with the ice cream in the back. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be on C1. We're gonna have what? 18.5 kilometers. We have Team Strifty versus I don't know Team. I'm just gonna call him Team Roy because I haven't seen him in a while. Let's do this. The brother Roy. Yeah, I'm, I call him Team Roy. <laughs> so we have Roy first place, Team Strifty in two and three, and his br brother in fourth place. We're gonna continue on to C1 outward, going to that first red turn. What is he? What is Roy gonna do here? Kind of going in for that dive, Team Shifty getting the lead, getting the lead there. Dot Hack and Panda in first place. Oh, 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 but Cappy's trying to squeeze in. It's not working, not, not looking so hot. No, Cappy did squeeze in, going into second place. Cappy, oh! Whoa, what happened there? What, <laughs> what happened there? I believe physics, <laughs> physics didn't work and it was just like, bam. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but Cappy went flying going up that incline. <laughs> From Panda trying to squeeze in between a pen, uh, Panjero. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like uh, Dot Hack here in first place. Might go into a TAI. No, he's gonna, he's gonna 
gonna slow down Roic a little bit so he kind of can catch up. He's doing a really good job blocking. The, the one thing I've always noticed is Dot Heck is always in the same car. He's played the RX-8 since the beginning. He's still playing it. Whereas Panda, I've seen him switch cars in here today. Multiple times, yeah. I mean, like, if, if, if someone could, uh, could master a car, that'd be great. But I feel like Panda likes playing with different cars, not only because it gives them, you know, different uh, different edges, different advantages with the, uh, with the car, but he also gets to learn the physics of the game. But the, one thing, the one thing I've noticed is that Dot Hack is always the runner when he when he can be. Ooh, we'll, we'll we'll get into that. We'll talk about that afterwards because uh, of what I what I basically learned from playing them yesterday. Okay. From playing them yesterday, yes. But we'll we'll talk about it after the match. So we have here Dot Hack. In first place, he's TAing it. Whoa, 100 meters, blue blue numbers all around for him. But the thing is, there's only there's nine kilometers to left in this race, so TAing can only get so far if Cappy doesn't have to block. Exactly. Cappy is Cappy's in second place now, so he's gonna he's gonna do his best to catch up. He's 80. Is it 80? I can't. No, 50 in closing now. Looks like it looks like um, Dot Hack is slowing down just a tad bit. Maybe more so because we're going we're to be hitting that five kilometers soon, and that's when everything gets more intense. Uh, like, it, it, if if Panda doesn't have to do anything, if Panda basically is is keep on getting blocked, Roic is going to keep on blocking, and it's going to be TA lines. But they're they're super close now, 20 kilometers, not even like he's only five meters, ten meters ahead of him. This red journey's coming in. That actually was oof, oof. Oof. I did not see that coming. Such, that, that was such a great suture. I don't know if you know, noticed that. Freak. Dot Hack blocked Roic right there, and he knew that Panda was coming in because uh, Panda blocked Cappy. So now Pan Panda and Cappy are one and two. Cappy's still trying to get into that first place. Panda, Panda, do a great job holding back Cappy there, it's letting Dot Hack squeeze by. But Cappy's they're still being able to squeeze into second place. They're still doing this back and forth, which is what I love. It's the fact that, like, if he's blocking. He's gonna let the other guy take the outside and the inside. And it's, it's always making sure that one of them maintains first place. Two kilometers left and closing into Yasu here. Cappy still trying to close in up in first place. Hitting, diving his far It's Dot Hack here. Not working out for him. Getting boosted by Panda. If Dot Hack didn't execute that bug just perfectly, uh, he would have got hit by the divider. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Going to the last turn here. Dot Hack doing the execution. That execution was, it was, it was actually, it, it was actually really good execution by Dot Hack. But the fact that Roic was, <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Roic was put right behind Cappy, gave him that extra boost, just a lunge, just a tad bit forward, gave him that edge just to pass him, get in first place. So great job by Team Cappy and Roic. We're gonna see them two in the mini tournament today. So stay tuned for that. Which ruining my art. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as I was uh, as I was saying earlier, so Team Swifty does have the tendency to switch a lot, but but they actually do a really good job switching up because that's how they play. They are very adaptable, uh, adaptable players. If one person if one person is by themselves, they can hold. They know what. What calls to make, which is why these this team is always in the finals, <laughs> and this is what this is what we're looking for for individual players, because you know, sure synergy is a big thing, but if you can hold yourself as if you can hold as uh, hold yourself just by yourself in team plays, then you should be able to maintain yourself. So teamwork is key, but like it's also good just to be a strong player. Yeah. I mean, which is what we see a lot in these players. Uh, so I don't know if you also noticed, but Dot Hack is actually the lead runner for Team Swifty. Yeah. Although they are very interchangeable, the moment Dot Hack gets the lead, and he know he can keep it, he will start TA. Like yeah, he'll get it. into the zone and start TA. I've seen it. I've seen it time and time again, where. He'll be 200 meters, 100 meters, like, I think the, the the highest I saw was like 300, and it's just TA lines. It's just execution, like, he's, he's taking it, 
he's taking the run so smooth. He's he's not breaking too hard. He's just he's he's basically he's in his zone. Yeah, he's in his zone, which is which is great. Like you know what? But the thing about getting in the zone, sometimes it's very easy to break somebody out of it, which is what I learned yesterday. How so? So yesterday I was actually teamed up with Sky. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Sky. So it was me and Sky versus Panda and Dot Hack. And the one thing that Sky kept telling me was just like, hey, once Lulu gets into the zone, okay, thank you. Uh, once Lulu gets into the zone, the only thing that you can do is literally just dive your car, dive your car into so he can break out of that zone because it takes time to get back into it because you need to focus. You're already focusing in this tournament, but like. You know, there's different things to focus on. Like, there's only so many things you can focus on. Like, think about it. In, in team 2v2 settings, you need to focus where everybody is, where you, especially where your partner is. But then you also need to focus on your lines. You, you also need to focus on what waves you're going, red turrets, blah, blah, blah. Like, there's a lot more things to focus on. So the moment you start TA, you need to clear your mind and be like, all right, lines. You know, like, there, like there's only so much. <laughs> And yeah, especially since like some of them are S ranked now, right? So S rank traffic. S rank? What? Sorry. Oh. Some of the players now are S rank. Yes. So with S rank, we got mo more traffic, more ink, more things to hit, and you know less less leeway. Uh, what time is this over? We are gonna be down around six today. About six. I think we're gonna we're gonna push a little more guys. Okay, so especially with like our mini tournament, I don't we don't know how long our mini tournament's gonna be. So for however long our mini tournament lasts, is how long we're gonna stay up for. Well, so far we have eight V range correct? Sorry, I'm eating Bobo right now. <laughs> so we have another two. We have Cappy and Rose. Oh, wait, sorry. No, it's Akagi and Groic. Groic is playing with Cappy's car. Akagi on the same team as Cappy. That's not weird. And, and then A1A and Lugia as one team. Alright, so first place we have A1A going into C1 inward here. We have Cappy following him. Lugia right. And Lugia in fourth place. And Akagi. Who's is not dead yet? <laughs> I believe in you guys. You guys can come back. Make can come back. Going to this suicide left turn. Cappy taking it very easily. Not, not taking advantage of the fact that he went. He eased himself into that. He should have just dove, dove his car into that, but not really. So Kagi taking second place here for his team. A one A keeping the lead here. First place. Looking at third. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong screen. <laughs> I was super, super behind. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you? What are you? What I'm are watching you? something else, guys. <laughs> but they are not teams. I believe this is free for all. No, the two v two. The two v two still? Yeah, the two v two. They did not look at that. Did not Who look said there were two v two? I don't know. The line of me. Shoot, I'm, I'm commenting on some other stuff. But anyway, so we have Lugia in third place still. Cappy first now. I think A one A in second place and um, Akagi fourth. No. Have we seen uh Have we seen uh, Lugia before? The no, team? this is my first time actually actually seeing Lugia before, so I've seen that R34 red black and red 34. Looks first time. Sick. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Alright, so we have e 18 keeping first place again. Cappy in second place running up. Going into these consecutive S turns. Ooh, very close to that oh, very close to that fighter there. I was hoping it wouldn't do something there, but not really. Ooh, there you go, see, it went eight, letting, oh! Whoa. Makagi's just gonna go first, his red turn's coming up. If he knows how to take it on the inside, like, he should be able to... Ooh. Took it on the outside, that's, uh, surprising. Well, apparently, Lukia didn't really know how to take that turn. So he hit the outside, giving Akagi a little, uh, a little bit of boost to, you know, catch up to him. Cappy doing a great job blocking both A1A and Lukia here, keeping them at bay. We have four kilometers left in this race. I mean, if it, it comes down to it, I think Cappy knows how to use his car to throw shift weight. Lucas still has a chest now, he's in, he's in uh, second place. 3.4 kilometers left, I mean, he's catching up. Ca Cappy, Cappy was throwing himself a little too much, not getting that momentum back to keep keep blocking them. But, 
We only have 2.5 kilometers left, and he's only 40. Uh, Luke is only 40 meters and closing now. There's gonna be a yellow, a yellow turn at the end here, but. I don't know, it might not be enough time for Luke to catch Kokagi here. I mean, Luke might be able to do it if he takes the inside, depending on how tight, like, uh... Yeah, especially with that 34? Yeah, I understand that. It looks like it's just gonna be a straightaway, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. Alright, so Akagi, Akagi secured the, the win for them. Congrats! I mean, good job by, on a one like, you know, defending first place. Like, whew! It's a little technical difficulties right now. I can't hear him. You hear me now? Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it was on the floor. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I was gonna have a commentator. Alright, so I hope you guys are enjoying the the two v twos right now. Uh, I know a lot of these competitors playing at the moment are actually warming up to the DD center that we're gonna have on the second half. So this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna jump on stream while commentating or racing. <laughs> the return of red. Alright, so is there any major difference in cars in this game? Like, does one get better MPG? I mean, like, I'm pretty sure some cars get better MPG. But overall, some cars do have better... Like, they better... They, some cars benefit... Like, heavy heaviness and stuff like that. More grip. Some of them have more top... Top accelerations. More horsepower. Blah, blah, blah. Like... We have, when it all comes down to it though, like if, if you know how to use a car, you know how to use a car. Any car can be like... If it's if it's in the top tier list, and it's not like one of the worst cars in the game, any car can basically win. Yeah. I've seen some of the worst cars win. What are the worst cars? What's the one with the tire on the back? Oh, uh, the Pajero? <laughs> The Pinto is not that bad, bad of a car, the only thing it lacks is acceleration. It stinks it's acceleration. It's pretty bad. Yeah, like coming like it takes it takes all turns perfectly fine because it has such great grip. But accelerating from that turn, boy does it struggle. I mean think about it, if you get zero stops, acceleration is basically what you need to uh, catch up. <laughs> sorry, you hear me? Sorry, Ed, I hope you're- <laughs> Are you hearing me too? Sorry. The return of red. <laughs> Alright, so we have uh, Lust and VTech here on Team team 1. I, I believe this will do TV2. I think. We'll see what happens. But we have Lust and VTech, also uh, competitors of the last tournament. We also got the, the star of the chosen one. The dad. The, the dad and Akagi. Ooh, look at all those birds. birds. I really need to play this game more often. <laughs> I feel that, I feel that. Alright, so we got Chie taking the lead on Akagi. Second place here, less slipping by the third, and then we have B Tech. B Tech. <laughs> Whoa, Chie going automatic! Uh oh! Uh oh! We got some. Professional gameplay going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Focusing on the line, lines alone. 
Lines alone. Nope, no battling, no ramming, slime. That's a trike? No, no, that's not a trike. Mine over Matic, go through it. <laughs> He's gonna go in between the trucks. Look at that, look at our full toes. <laughs> Alright, looks like a I think I think they, they are doing the 2v2 here. No one's telling me anything, so I don't know. Shade taking the first taking first place to lead here. Are, are they? Uh, oh, it's it's like a free for all. Whoa, Shade shoving B second to a Pantero there. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I mean if if Akagi's uh G is partner, he's blocking him real hard. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens if Akagi does attack him and zero stops him or does something to him on the next red turn, then. It's a big problem. But it looks like they're just... Okay, I can't really say for sure. Yes, do we do? I mean, are you sure? I don't know! <laughs> I, Everybody's kind of like, you know, man. But I, I think I think, I think, think it's a big roll at this point because it looks like VTX slipped by there and Akaki had the upper advantage to block him. Woo! Getting closer to the fight. That divider. Yeah, it's a free roll. That one's that doing work, man. He's shoving everybody into the walls. I should play automatic more often. <laughs> I'm saying that he's small, but he can fight. Wow, again, going into going into Yoko. It's Yoko, right? Yeah, I think it's Yoko. I don't know. It's going to No, it's Wanga. It's all Wanga. Now it's Wanga. So I believe, I can't really see from here. It looks like v -Tech in the lead. Akagi second place, less following third. She in fourth is automatic. It looks like everybody's fairly the same. Ooh! Lost getting zero stop by a truck. There's a whole lot of yelling and no's. I mean, yeah, it's cool. v -Tech and Lust are teaming up, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's 2v2. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! Look at the concentration of Chi's face. Concentrate in everybody's face. It looks like Beast is having the spot the time of his life, though. And I. Yeah. The time of my life. Oh! Another zoom zoom. Yeah. Is he under the legal. <laughs> BAC? Is that BAC? Okay. I'm not entirely sure, though. I don't know cards, I know games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they, they're, they're in Super Brawl. Oh! Bad technique right there by Chie. How bad? Hitting that car was pretty bad for him. So it looks like VTEX is going to take the lead here. Going into the straight away from Walk On. It might be VTEX. VTEX uh, win here if he chooses to keep going straight. He's going straight, walking westbound here. What horse power is the end? He's probably under. What horsepower are they? I think they're all 700 at the moment. I... No, no, no. VTX 720. Now Kage 720. So it looks like they're going to be catching up pretty soon. 2.5 kilometers left into this race. Plus and VTX. 2, 1 and 2. Akage following and GN for it. Going to one Yoko Hone. Here we go. Down it's it's going to be the turn. This is the turn. This is the turn for all of it. Ooh! Whoa, Ooh, getting, Chi, getting a... Back. Getting a little... Oh my god, getting a little rough here. She ain't hitting a wall. Lus might take this and secure the win for them. The only way he's gonna mess this up is in turn. Lus takes it. Ah, Lus comes back after that zero star. Congrats to him. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, uh. Brent and I are gonna jump off right now, and I'm gonna have my buddy Cole and Operator. Join you guys in commentating. I hope you guys hope you guys are enjoying the stream. If you guys have any questions and whatnot well, about the tournament or the mini tournament, the mini tournament will be starting in the second half of our event. So maybe like around four, four or three or four. I'm not entirely sure yet, depending on how many teams I have right now. We're still waiting for some teams to show up. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Uh, feel free to clip some stuff, give us some stuff. DM some stuff, talk Feedback, about us. Yeah, you know, t uh, Taki Ike balls in the mouth, yeah, you know, yeah. all, all that stuff. Some milk. Ooh. <laughs> some milk. Alright, guys. I'll... <laughs> we'll see, see you see guys, you guys soon. <laughs>
welcome back, folks. You're going to be joined by Hohan and my special guest for today. Can you just call me Joel? I don't have a name yet, ma'am. Well, that during a special intro, but yeah, let's, let's go with that. Sorry. It's Joel today. Sorry, I, guys. I'm so sorry. I was so debating on, like, should I be blue? <laughs> yeah, it can be blue, and then the other one's red. All right, all right. We'll be on together one time. One You'll day. We'll be on today. Red and blue. One day. One, one day. day. One day. I hope it's today. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so... Well, What's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? Apparently, we can see now because it's, it's not the nighttime anymore. Oh, that's good. Um. Ah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. oh, that sounds better. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to be starting the next match right now. So, it looks like we got Lugia, Lust, and we got 818 and VTech. VTech? VTech. DJ VTech. DJ VTech. So tight, tight, tight. So good. tight. <laughs> and Lux taking the front right now. Looks like he's keeping Lugia out. Keeping Lugia out of the way. Uh, so Lux is, uh, Lux is in the lead. Uh, wait, are they, is this teams right now? Or are they, did they decide if they were going to do teams or is this all out? I think it's all out for now. They're going to do teams all a little out? bit later. Ooh. We have our tournament today. So right all now right. they're kind of doing warm-ups. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having a little warm-up. Uh, what's up, Marin? I don't know if I've seen you already. Lord Uisos, how you doing? Lord Uisos, our Lord and Savior of the memes. He's the one who made our meme, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's the one who made our meme the other day. Yeah. Man, Lost is keeping a really big lead right now. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, like I mean, they hit really hard on the um, the the right turn. The, it was like the first hard right turn. Uh, I don't know what it was. I guess it was like a quick transfer of boost because he seemed fine. But then all of a sudden he just went right into it, uh, the rear end, kind of clipping and hitting really hard at the very end of the divider or the wall. Just like how H1H just kind of took that lead from him right there. He took a Lugia going right in front of him. Yep. Right now what? Lust is taken in the third place and then Lugia is right behind him now. Every time I hear Lugia, I keep wanting to talk about Pokemon. The song of, the song of, uh, the song of Revival. Yeah, the song of Revival. <laughs> Let's not talk more oh. about that meme, but we'll just keep it at that. Lugia just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this is the part of the movie where uh, Lugia is sinking to the bottom of the ocean. And uh, he's gonna hear the song of revival. Let's Here's see if song. it works. Let's see if the song of revival works. And he, he takes the game. He takes the cake. Let's see if the uh, the other three start coming up too. The yeah. other birds. But the chosen one. You know? The chosen Ash. one. Ash has to uh, bring the, the... Was it the legendary orbs or whatever to like each part of the island? Exactly. Is 818 gonna represent that? I don't know, we'll see. I mean, it looks like he only has one. Because they're all the same color, except Lust. So he's Articuno? Wait, Articuno. Wait, Lust is Articuno? Oh, no, I'm talking about A1A Articuno. Oh, A1A, okay, yeah. A1A is Articuno. Lust is Moltres, because this car is the fire red. Exactly, you know? yeah. exactly. VTEC's going to represent Zapdos. Oh, yeah, I see the electric yellow right there. Zapdos. Yeah, exactly. Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone's going into the dog pile right now. Oh, okay. Okay, okay coming up. Well, we'll see who goes straight. Can he block this? What's going on back there? I don't know, man. Like, come on, Moltres. So, yeah. These two turns are the two turns that took me forever to learn. Really? Why is that? Because I always went on the inside. I don't know why. Is it just like our friend I always told you? Yeah. Just go straight. Yeah, just go straight. Yeah, just, just go, straight. go straight. Just go straight. And then, like, he's like, yeah, you don't need to go on the outside because, you know, everybody goes on the outside because. Or whatever. I don't know. I forgot how it was, but... And it looks like Lugia's taking your advice right now by going all inside on that one. Yep. See, see, see. You gotta go inside, man. Exactly. And it looks like we got five kilometers left I, I, for this as, race, as Drift, King, as Drift King says, right? As, uh, as we always quote when we're hanging out, you know, it's outside, inside, inside, outside. Exactly. 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 Let's see if he's gonna take that advice right now. You know, outside? Mm -hmm. Inside? Time. Three kilometers. Outside. Three kilometers. Ooh. 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 Lost on his butt. Lost in his honor. Can he go straight? He's going straight. He's gonna. He's throttling on him. Here's the next step. Right here, see inside. Oh, Lus is kind of pushing him out though. Oh, Moltres. Moltres. Moltres, the chosen one. Moltres beating Lugia. But Articuno's right next to him. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Oh, we'll see. Well, I mean, Art I know Ice does beat fire. Oh! oh. Ice beats fire. fire. <laughs> Oh, with that being said, it looks like 818 took this match for today. Yeah. So clearly, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go lately. Clearly. How is that game, by the way? It's alright. They just recently introduced trading. 
Really? Yeah, so you can trade now and stuff. It's pretty cool. And they got raids now, right? Yeah, yeah, they've had raids for a while. Um, but I think trading is the one that a lot of people have been saying, like, when can we trade? No, will they bring back the tracker? No, I don't think they'll ever bring back the I'll tracker. I'll never go back to this game then. I need the tracker in my life. Yeah, I understand. But trading, I mean, I guess the next thing to do is maybe maybe battles. Maybe battles. Like uh, battles here on Wangan, Max yes. 5. Yeah. On our mini tournament, we'll be having uh, teams. By the way, folks, if you haven't known yet, we do have a mini tournament for today. It's going to be the qualifier for the main tournament for next month. The winner mm -hmm. of this tournament will gain their spot into the main tournament. Don't have to, And their entry fee is paid. Yeah, their entry fee is waived. Um, the winner or for the winner of this tournament. Um, it is, uh, but you know, since this is a mini tournament, it is a uh, single elim. So, so there is no losers bracket. It's like uh, win, just you win, you win. Yes, sir, folks. So if you're not so sure about those rules, basically, once you lose, you're one and done, man. You're out of the tournament for that reason. Now, what we need is that we need at least eight teams to start this tournament today. So we're about at seven right now. We need one more team to come on down, sign up, and then we're gonna get this started. Yeah. yeah. Will you beat that team? How about you come on down? And let us know. Come on down. I just think of prices right. You know what I mean? Every time, Sweet right? Seat number three. Come on, come on down. down. Da -da -da. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy the other day? So I was watching TV, right? I was yeah. just flipping through channels because I was just at home working on stuff. You know what I saw? What? For some reason, America's Funniest Home Videos. And guess who's hosting it? I don't know why, but the first name that came into my mind was Chris Pratt. <laughs> no, it's Carlton. <laughs> it's Carlton. Carlton yeah. hosted now. But yeah, that's. That's crazy though. I didn't know that Carlton hosted that. Uh, but like, I think either Chris Pratt or Ryan Reynolds would do a, a really good job at that because they are two very funny people. But it's crazy, right? Carlton from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah, yeah. What's uh, his, I forgot his what his name? real name. I forgot what his real name. Does anybody in chat know Carlton's real name? From yeah, Fresh does anyone in chat know Carlton's real name? Like that guy. I don't know why he's hosting. Yeah, if not, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to. Let's see if, they, if the stream beats me or if my. I don't uh, even know why I was watching that on a Saturday night when I could have been doing something me. else, like playing Wangan. I haven't played Wangan until I keep saying I want to come back and like to finish tuning my car, you know, get back, you know, being uh, being pretty good or okay at the game. But uh, just my work keeps messing me up. Uh, fuck, I spelled Carlton wrong. Ooh, looks like we got Andre joining us for today. We haven't seen this fellow in a while. What can you tell yeah, me about him? Yeah, we haven't. Well, Andre almost sold me a pair of yellow jeans. Tell us the story real quick before the match starts. All right. Well, I mean, he didn't really sell it to me. Or try to sell it to me. I saw the pair of yellow jeans, right? And, and he was working at uh, JC Penny at the time, you know. And I was like, should I? Should I? It would be funny, right? And he's like, no, dude. I'm telling you this as your friend. Don't buy those yellow jeans. <laughs> you should have listened to him, man. I didn't. I didn't buy him. I listened. Did buy him? Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, all right. So we got Andre. Oh. Let's say we got a uh, Diamond Star, Andre, Aquani, yeah. and Lugia still joining us. For Wait, Andre? Oh no, I was gonna say, wait, Andre's as Diamond Star? Because Diamond Star. So we got Diamond Star, which is Darren, that's your boy, our boy Darren. Oh, uh, does he have some V Tech under the hood? Yeah, they all have V Tech. Oh! Wait. He put that man in the wall, did you see that? Did, did he get thrown into it, or did he just get sucked into it? He got sucked into it, he got the Vortex. Yay, I haven't seen that in a while. I thought they fixed that bug. The Hidden Vortex. The Tech. Hidden Vortex still exists. The Hidden Vortex still exists. I thought they fixed that. I mean, like, that's thing, that's been there since, what, 3? The famous glitch. Right? Yeah. It's been there since 3. Like, my damn. So you want to explain to the folks at home what the Vortex glitch is? Um, so for some reason, um, that specific wall or divider right there, um, picks the chosen one and decides that they don't get to race anymore. 94. And it usually happens when uh, two cars squeeze between, or they try to squeeze in the same, um, like the same side. You know, like if, if we're both if we're both coming around the corner and we all we both want to go on the left side, it'll pick one of us. But um, I don't know. Did that? I didn't. It just happened so quick. Were they on the same side? It, it looked like it looked like they were. They each picked the lane, and then the wall decided. Well, I'm gonna pick one of you guys. Then. I guess this hitbox is registered that way. I guess so. Yeah, sometimes I don't know what it is, but 
Um, it decides to pick up collision on. Well, we got some. Well, we do got some scientists up in the chat, and they may be able to explain this too as well. Anyways, back to the match. Looks like Diamond Star's gonna keep the lead right now. Andre right behind him. 818 right behind them, and Lugia is just trying to catch up right now after that glue. After that. Yeah. yeah, after that. After that. After that. I wonder. I wonder what Lugia is feeling right now because of that. Yeah, I mean, he might be shook. You think he's a little shook? You know what I mean? He could be a little bit, because I mean, you gotta recover from that. I mean, that's a tilting moment, you know? And at the start of the race. Yeah, and at the start of the race. So if you can't recover, um, and you're just trying to fix that throughout the race, like, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna be like in the middle or in the back for the most part. Exactly. Um, Looks like Reddick taking the C1 in right now. Think when he's taking the lead, Andre pushing him out. Oh, and 8 8 recovers very nicely. Yeah, Andre's racing solid today. Uh, I haven't seen him race in a while. The last time uh, uh, the last time I saw him, he was having an off day. Yeah, but looks like he's keeping it back up now. And, look, and looks yeah. like coming to the uh, snake red turn right now. Andre takes it. Oh, he's hitting the back wall. Diamond's for taking the offense. Lugia trying to push him out, but Andre keeps him out. Yeah, I mean, um, I forgot what I was going to say, but like there was something about this turn. I kind of had a quick like uh, PTSD moment, you know what I mean? Where it's like, oh. Oh, looks like we're gonna get the run back in that turn then. I'm gonna get killed, yeah. Look, you're not hitting the wall, not getting into the wall this time. Yeah, I don't even think what, if he was hit in the wall. He was taken into the wall. He was taken into God's wall. He was taken into, he was, he was taken into uh, Trump's wall. <laughs> I was taking it to Maeda's wall. Maeda's wall. Maeda told him to come back. They needed uh, one million troops. They needed one million troops yeah. to make it happen. They needed one million troops to make it happen. Anyways, looks like we got 1.5 kilometers left. Looks like Dems are still in the lead. 818 is right on his tail and Andre's trying to keep up. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, they could uh, squeeze through a truck for some odd reason and lose it. At this point, they got one more. Oh. Andre coming from the side. Oh! oh. Andre well, sneaking up on them. Look at that. I saw him look. He's throwing a little bit of salt. Like He's just trying to tell him. Trying to tell him. He's waving to the fans. He's telling oh. his mom hello. The moment he passed them all, he did the... He did the Luigi death stare. He was just like, "Hey guys." <laughs> Wait, what's the title? Oh, mine is still on vacation. I want yeah, it. That's two. Man. That's two, right? That's two rotations. This man, yeah, tell that's nice. Them. This man telling them he doesn't pay attention. He just wins. Yeah, right. He's just telling them he wins. Damn, dude. Andre throwing all that salt, huh? Andre throwing all that salt, huh? Telling them that their minds are on vacation? He's just giving it to them haters. <laughs> <laughs> just giving it to them haters. Trap family. Trap family. Trap family. <laughs> By the way, shout outs to Tea Top Milk Tea. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah checked it out. It's the actually uh, right outside the mall in the same plaza. Tea Top. Hell yeah, Tea Top's pretty bum. Um, this mango, I got a I got a mango green tea with a what's it like agar jelly? It said they called it or something. That phone is slippery. Sorry, I know you guys heard that. Uh, real quick, I'll be right back. So, anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying the stream right now with us. Um, it looks like we just phone. encountered a little bit of a technical difficulty. We're just trying to make yeah. sure. <laughs> We need to do anything right now, folks. So just hang tight for a little bit. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm a little distracted. I'm checking. Um, my friend just got a new phone. It is nice, but it's kind of slippery. Oh, the buttons feel a little. Uh... Anyways, back to Wangan. Um, are we having technical difficulties right now? We're just making. Uh, so it seems like one of the oh, guys brought it up to us about it, and we're just making sure if we need to restart anything or anything like that right now. So we're checking right now. Oh, you're talking about the steering wheel feedback that we we're talking about earlier, uh, the right? Steering wheel feedback, and then something else. But um, it looks like we're gonna start do this match right now. All right, sounds good. Yeah, because I I do know that earlier one of the readers went out. We had to go and uh.
call, call a tech for the reader. Definitely, but you know, thank God they got to it really quick. You know, they got yeah. it sorted out in about a few minutes. Yeah, they're really good. Um, they, they, they're, they've always been really good to us about that. Like, when we have a problem, they, uh, they do get a tech out here pretty quickly. Yeah, um, honestly, Ron One's pretty great about fixing the machines. If we tell them, like, hey, we have a problem, like, even yeah. in the middle of a tournament, they get to it in, like, at least five minutes and we're all good. Yeah, sometimes quicker. I mean, so, like, if they do know, because sometimes, like, they, the other day, they do know that they was giving some problems, so they do... Um, hang around for a little bit, make sure that everything's all right, and then they exactly. It's, yeah. a, good, it's a good group of mechanics we've got. Yeah, yeah, always, we got we a good, always, yeah, we always have we a always, good set of techs here. You know, we're always glad that they're here to help us out, and we always want to, you know, do what we can for them too. Give that. Yes, Uisaz, nice but kind of slippery. Yes, kind of slippery. Yes. Yes. What broke? Oh, uh, nothing broke. It's just um. Someone's saying the feedback on one of the machines is just a little off. Yeah, so like uh, when when they were reset, maybe or when they were turned on this morning, maybe somebody I don't know messed with it or maybe they, yeah, maybe or if they, they or if they reset they it, yeah, maybe there was a kid messing with it, like playing with it or when they reset it or something. But uh, we don't know. Um, uh, but they did check it earlier. Uh, we, I think maybe they just. It still feels a little weird, I don't know, but we could always just, you know, ask them, try to reset it again, have it recalibrate. Um, and one of the readers just turned off. I know their, I know their systems, I think, are still um, getting broken in. Because they're new, I think, right? The system is new. Yeah. Alright, so... We're going to Osaka night. Osaka? Osaka is the first map that... Uh, Wait, Osaka night. We were just on Osaka day, right? Yeah, we were just on Osaka day. Now we're on Osaka night. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nobody ever sleeps. But this is the first map. Yeah, no one sleeps on Osaka. This is the first map that I learned, though. The first map you learned? Yeah. But that's because I kept recording, uh, or watching and recording one of my friends. I uh, tried to TA. Oh, oh Andre. Andre. Taken out. Looks like they didn't like that salt from earlier. Looks like Andre uh, got the run back. Andre's getting that run back. He's getting challenged, you know? He's. They're trying to... Uh, Show to Andre that their minds aren't on vacation anymore. Exactly. Was it minds on vacation? Minds on vacation. Yeah. Looks like Andre gotta get back vacation. Andre, Andre's gotta be like, nah, your minds are on vacation. Either that or Andre's minds on vacation now. Look at pushing out six night. Hey. Oh, six night. I'm like six night. You mean seven night? But now nah, you're right. Yep. <laughs> you're right. It's six night. You know, we gotta see Andre can uh, run it back, you know, hold that title, get a winning streak going on. Lugia's gonna take the next red turn. Vitek's gonna come in from the side. But he's pushing on him instead of going from the side. So it looks like Lugia's yeah, gonna drop off him out. I think he was trying to squeeze in, but you know, sometimes. You can never get it. Yeah, yeah sometimes, there's, there's sometimes you try to squeeze in, and then sometimes you just gonna be like, I don't know why. I'm trying, but I don't know why I'm sick. Just like how he's trying to squeeze in right yeah, now. Right. Oh, and he oh. got it. He got it this time. But Andre's pushing him out. Yeah, that was a good solid. I mean, you know that what usually the pressure gets, you know? but also the boost. You make as much use as you can at the moment. Yeah, because there's there's a lot of there's, there's, the one that always messes me up is that like when the boost starts transferring around so quickly and that in those like in those small moments, um, I end like I hit something or like I'll hit the wall. Because then it like slingshots you, you know. That's what's uh, you get that shake and bake going. Yeah, you get the shake and bake. Yeah. The shake and bake situation we got with V Tech and Andre right now. You get some Teladiga Knights. Oh. I feel like I feel like he might have jinxed himself a little bit with that title, you know what I mean? Because his mind seems to be on vacation right now. Exactly, as you can see from his eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me. I think we're gonna have to enhance later. <laughs> <laughs> you heard us. You heard oh, us. No. You heard us. Oh no! Yes. <laughs> I have no idea what he said, but I said yes. <laughs> Hey, is Vitek so, yeah. keeping the lead right now? Vitek keeping the lead. He's trying to push Lugia out. Vitek taking Ooh, the wall, man. Oh, you see that? He's taking a little, get a, get a little Ooh, bit of airport. Oh, 6 9 and him are just like, beat. They just can't fight for that now. 6 9 taking um, the lead now. Oh. Oh, no. So we have a question from uh, Heinrich. Is there a meta car? I don't think there's a meta car. There's some cars that people say are like, oh, this car is not good, but they lose to it. Hey, FD's OP, man. What, what? The FD is OP. The FD is OP. But yeah, there's... Oh! Oh. But yeah, there, there's a, I want to say there's a lot of cars where people um, feel that, oh, it's not that great of a car, but um, 
but then they've lost to those cars you know what i mean like it all depends on the driver in my opinion and, and your setup because the, the setup does the, you know that when you do dress tune in and stuff it does change you know how your car handles a little bit um, so it all depends on you you know and and the mind games that you play you know like right here see he's like He, he, he could have he could have let him pass him you know what i mean and been like oh yeah you're gonna win and then just take it away from him in the end exactly you know so we got 2.5 kilometers left six nice doing a good job blocking him out I, I, oh i was gonna say i want him to go right but it was too late no one left andre's sneaking up behind him he's off vacation he's trying to he's trying to slip slip by with another win again huh trying to he's trying to put in all the last minute work to get done yeah get on vacation he wants no get worries. on vacation he wants no worries but looks like he's got a straight line now he's gonna have too much hope He's gonna have he's to got, go overtime. He could probably slip through here again, you know what I mean? Like trying to be a sneaky snake, you know, but. Ah. Uh, but Six Knight took it. Six Knight took it. Looks like uh, he's got to spend a little more time in the office before he can go on his vacation. It looks like uh, that beat tick kicked in way too much, yo. Wait, wasn't it a Nissan? Oh, I was talking about Mr. VTEC over there. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was like, no, but what, 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 it wasn't his, isn't his car a Nissan? Yeah, it's not a Nissan. <laughs> That's why. Uh, what's Nissan's VTEC again? What is it called? I have no idea. Does anyone know what it's called? One more show Sorry, hold on, give me a moment here, um, I'll be right back. All right, the, uh, sorry, what was that? The only J-Series I know is the 2JZZ. Um, the 2JZ. 2JZ. 2JZ, 2JZ. Um, too much power. Is that what, that's what that sounds for? Too much power. No, that's too much that's power? That's for me. Too much power, 2JZ. Um, uh, yeah, I can't think of any other uh, J-Series uh, J in there. That's the, that's the only one I can think of right now. Um, yeah, the, the R32 uh, is usually a good... Uh, a solid car. A lot of people like the way it feels, the way it handles. Um, I know that is one of the cars that I used the most back in three. Um, <coughs> that and the what was it again? Evo three, I think it was. I used the Evo three a lot. That was one of my favorite. Ones. So after this race, um, we're gonna restart the stream. So give us maybe about five, ten minutes, guys, and we'll come yeah. right back, all right? So just stick around. Right after this race, though. Yeah, right after this race. So you're going to get one more race with us. All right. We so, hope you enjoy. So again, this is Colhan, and then uh, right now I'm just Joel. <laughs> A.K.A. Uh, Takfuji, oh. A.K.A. One Million Troops. I don't want to be Takfuji. I'll you be guys, One Million Troops, though. Remember, guys, check out uh, Konami E3 Takfuji. That's all you need. Yeah, that's all you need. Check that out so you'll know where 1 million troops come from. Exactly, 1 million troops. Anyways, it looks like we got VTEC, Diamond Star, 6 Knight, and SSJ. SSJ? Wait. Oh, okay. SSJ. Because uh, wasn't there a guy? Wasn't the guy from NorCal was like SS... Something, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, wait, he's back? Oh, no. I was just saying SSJ because I thought he was going to go Super Saiyan on me. Oh, Super Saiyan? I mean, who knows? Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. It's an aura. 
but then watch, his aura is going to be red and we'll be like, he lied to me. That's KO Ken. That's KO Ken, man. <laughs> is it times 10 or times 3? Oh, I don't know. Let's see how many stars he has. It could be times 10. Could be. Anyways, Diamond Star taking a lead over uh, Six Knight right now. He pushed him out of the way. He's like, nah, fam, I want this lead. Yeah, right? So it's a uh, 110 versus the 110 right now. I think they're having a bit of a struggle. A little bit of a struggle? Yeah, a little bit of a struggle. Got to figure out who's the best, who's got, who has a higher KO Ken. Exactly. Oh, well, looks, looks like, like SSJ uh, right now. Looks like, yeah, but you know, this isn't even his final form. No, definitely not. He has to go blue, he has to go god, and then KO Ken. Exactly. Wait, but KO Ken is a... Uh, So he's not keeping his lead right now. Diamond Star in second, and then Lugia. Yeah, Lugia in third, right? Lugia in third. Yeah, Lugia in third. So um, he did. <laughs> so um, uh, Diamond Star. Uh, so there was a tournament yesterday, right? It's when uh, Burbank. Um, I heard uh, Diamond Star uh, <coughs> uh, actually uh, took the tournament yesterday with his. Uh, I think his teammate was Panda. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they took the tournament yesterday. Um, which was cool, you know. I I, I wish I could have went. I was my friend, our uh, diamond star Darren. You know, he invited me, but you know, I was at work. I was able to take today off, so I can be here with you guys. And, you know, thankfully you're with us today. Yeah. Entertaining the people, I'm trying my best, you know, like because you know I'm still getting used to this uh, talking to the people and thinking talking of something to the people. Say and, of course. Yeah, talking to the people, you know, like. Uh, 110 keeping his lead, uh, defending against two. You can see like two, two of them are trying to pass him. Um, oh, I'm trying to trying to juke him with that bus, but looks like he ended up harming his chances of passing at that moment. Indeed. Yeah. So he's yeah he's blocking three people right now. Looks like it's not like oh <laughs> going into that attack. Looks like he lost a lot of boost on that one. He did. He did have a lot of it because he was keeping in front for a good while, taking bits of boost from all of them because he was blocking off three. But uh, oh, looks like uh, looks like they could keep it though. I mean, there's still 5.5. Sorry, excuse me. There's still five. Sorry, excuse me. Um, there's still 5.5 kilometers left, or five kilometers left to the race, so still anything could happen. Uh, Considering that uh, Diamond Star just kind of slid in through all these DMs right now. Yeah, he did slide into all the DMs. Uh, but let's see. Let's see if any of them are gonna reply. Let's see. Let's oh, see. Uh, oh, maybe he's got one. He's got six nine right behind them. Oh, he's got a six nine. Oh, oh, uh, oh. He swiped left. He swiped left. <laughs> I oh. guess he's got that uh, Tinder Prime or whatever it's called. Oh, the six nine wants to come back. He gets back on his speed. Six nine, uh, six nine, like not letting go. You know, not letting go, man. Oh no, man. He's got, is this Darren gonna block him, or is he just gonna let these DMs keep coming? He's gonna let them just keep sliding, and he's gonna be able to be gone. Like, oh. oh, a six knight taking that lead. Oh, six knight. I guess it. I guess. Yeah. I guess there was a response. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Darren, Darren might have a good uh, comeback to this. And it looks or like Diamond Star. Oh, well, looks like. Yeah, it looks oh. like that's it. Yeah. All right. Six knight. Didn't have a comeback to that one. Six knight's gonna take this race. Uh, six knight will take this race. All right, folks. Uh, it was so that was I'm a sorry. pretty good race, yeah, and also, race. folks, just as a reminder, we're gonna be we're gonna be stopping some the stream really quick for about five ten minutes. We're just gonna restart some stuff, and we'll get back on here. So, just go ahead and hang out, guys, and we'll see you soon. All right, take care, guys. See you in a little bit. We'll see you in in a little bit.